Hello viewers, welcome to the channel, welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the M4 Sherman. So, this is going to be our first Sherman build on 1.5 to 1 scale, as I don't have any major, basically, variant like upgun 76 millimeters for it, or millimeter guns for it. I really couldn't be bothered to find any, so this is just going to be our first standard M4 Sherman with the ball sloped front plate. I believe this is the late production model with the uh, hatch protrusions. I believe it's the um, large hatch version that has the cutouts with the um, added on plates in the front, like that. So, uh, pretty simple, it's our least complex Sherman, so best to start with this one first. So, uh, let's begin with the floor layer. So, to begin, I'm going to pick our middle block here, go out to one side, and then dig a row of one, two, oops, uh, actually, this is going to be five blocks long, so then four blocks long, rather. Okay, so pick two blocks out here, and then move one out, and dig a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to fill this in with any black black block you want, and we can move on to the next layer. For this we'll need netherrack stairs, levers, dark prismine slabs, and for now just some grindstones. So, first we're just going to place some placer blocks and then an upside down netherrack stair right in front of our first floor black block. We're then going to take grindstones, place them, place a row out, starting from this upside down another brick block of one, two, three, four, five, and six. So all the way to the end. Um, yep, yeah, okay, I believe that's right. Yep, yeah, okay. One, two, three, oops, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to bridge this gap with dark prismine up slabs. And we're going to go up one more row. We're then going to take our nether brick stairs again, place two normal ones. And then take dark oak fence gates right behind the stairs, open them up. And we're going to see the le levers for the next layer because they're placed uh, below a block. And we're going to take our invisible item frames, place down one on each of the grindstones. I'm going to take our crossbows and have them facing sort of downwards at an angle, mirrored each other. So just shoot out this pattern here for the VVSS suspension. side, same thing. Once we have that done, that'll finish our first layer, and we can move on to layer two. So first we're going to start by placing down green terracotta blocks. So we're just going to place down a row on top of our slabs from the last layer. I'm going to place them on each of the slabs, and at the far back, we're going to have two mossy couple stone walls. In the front, we're going to take our, oops, our dark prismine stairs, place down one and two. Now we can take our levers, oops, place down two upside down levers on the bottom of these stairs. Next, we're going to take two lecterns, place them on top of the each of the dark, sorry, the nether brick upside down stairs, and then for the basically sand skirts and drag sides, we're going to take uh, spruce slabs, spruce signs. We can grab a dark oak stair. That should be good. So then, we're going to place down one spruce slab behind. The, each of the lecterns, and then we're going to take a dark oak upside down stair, place it right off of the slab, so it should be facing like that. 
and we're just going to do that two more times. So, spruce lab, dark, dark oak stair, spruce lab, upside down, dark oak stair. Just like that. And then I'm going to take, uh, rather, one more spruce up slab behind each of the stairs. And then finally, we're going to take, whoops, okay. We're going to take spruce stairs and place them off the sides of the walls. So, uh, next with the skirt sides, we place down spruce sign on the lectern and on the first. The, um, on the first spruce slab, and then one sign on the last spruce slab. And in the front, we're going to place down one spruce slab, and that should be it for all the blocks. So now we can take our item frames, and we're just going to place down one item frame on each of the stairs. place down a green terracotta block. We can also take our debug stick and work here. So we should just get it so it's touching both the sides of the stairs. Like that. That's what we want right there. And we can move on to the next layer. So we can start basically with our green terracotta player heads and place down row one, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to take uh, two barriers, skip one, and one more. And then we're just going to need with stained glass and a green terracotta. So invisible end frames on each of the barrier blocks. Place down a white stained glass on the outer one and on this one inner one, one green terracotta block. So next we can take our real green terracotta blocks and place down row one, two, three, and four on the second spruce slab. And next we can take our Dark prismine stairs, place down two stairs on each of the sides. And these are going to be debugged stairs. We're going to have them facing inner left and right. So that's what we want right there. And then we're going to take invisible hind frames. Place two of them on each of the sta um, in curved stairs, and then green glass paint side them. Next, we're going to take uh, three more. So place down one on this outer uh, dark prismine stair, and then one on top. And for the opposite one, just one on top. So we're then going to take our green terracotta box and just put them all inside the item, item frames we just placed. So moving on, we're going to continue with our green terracotta blocks and build a row one and two out down the middle. We're going to take a chest, piston, that should be good for now. So we're going to build a double chest here. Then two up uh, facing pistons and then two player heads. So we can get the debug stick stuff in for the piston. We can finish sort of the back off with two uh, dark oak slabs, uh, dark prismine slabs to the side of the chest and the pistons. And then we can take flower pots and place them on each of the spruce stairs. So we can take our debug stick extended to true. So it should cut off top of the block and we can do that uh, one more time 
So we can place two pistons here. And a lectern on that last block right there. We're then going to take our dark oak signs and dark oak trapdoor for the siding of the tank. So place down a dark oak trapdoor on each of the blocks. Then two dark oak signs on the lectern and the piston. And that should be it for the blocks. Then we can move on to the iron frame stuff. But we can also debug these pistons. That's what we want. And we're going to take a normal item frame, place one down on each of the lecterns, and take a white wool block, and have it at an angle for, I guess, a little star. We're then going to take our tripwire hooks, barriers, and red stained glass. So we're going to take our barriers, place one on, place one off of each of the bar pots. We're going to do that for now. Then take our invisible item frame, place one off the back, and inside of it, a red stained glass block. And lastly, invisible item frames on the last uh, dark prismian slab. And then a tripwire hook. Just facing upwards. So with that done, with that done, that finishes our hull, and we can move on with the turret. So for this we can grab some green stained glass panes, mossy cobblestone walls, green terracotta blocks, and some dark prismian stairs. So first we're going to start by placing the blocks down. Starting from the back, we place down a row two green terracotta blocks on the last row we placed from the last layer. And then one more. So on the back, we're going to take our tripwire hook on this side, and on the opposite side, a dark oak sign. Moving on to the front. We're going to take our dark prism stairs and sort of something similar from the last layer. So we can get this stuff out of the way. Place down. Okay, yeah, I was expecting that. And that's why I you know, did that last. So, we're just going to place down two panes on top of the pistons, then a moss cobblestone wall, and then a green stained glass pane. So we can take our debug stick and fix all the stuff and make it look how we want. So for this side, we're going to make it face inwards and we're going to need west for this one. Then these ones are going to be inner right and inner left. Just like that. And for this um, wall right here, we're just going to want uh, it to be flush with the roof, basically, and with the slabs also, and with the panes as well. Just like that. And then we can put our barrel in for the 75mm gun. For this we can take our barriers and sides. Okay, and that just ruined everything. So. We're going to build out a row of three. Dark oak signs on each of the ones. And if you have a world edit, you can just do this, or if you can use your debug stick to, I guess, place down, sort of uh, place a block row on each of the sides, place signs basically on them. So there'll be a sign row on this block and on this block, and you can, I guess, flip them around to face it towards each other. But that's a bit more complicated. I'm pretty sure that'll work, but I'm just going to do this since I have that opportunity. We're then going to fix what we just broke from the um, signs to fix these stairs. On 
do this again. And with that done, we can move on to the roof. Actually, rather, we're going to get one few things done for the, um, I guess, the middle, middle two rows. Place down invisible end frames on each of the stairs of the turret and the hall. I'm going to place down nether brick slabs facing basically all the way forwards for the driver optics. And for the mantlet here, right here, that should be a turned around uh, vertical slab and a horizontal slab, which is flipped upwards, like so. Now we can move on to the roof here, so we're just going to need a mossy um, dark oak button, comparator, and a dark oak trapdoor. So place the trapdoor on this block right here, and then behind that a dark oak button, and then a redstone comparator. And we're going to face this way. We're going to take our iron bars, place down one and two. And for the machine gun, we're going to place down a fence gate on this block right here. Or if you don't want the machine gun, there's just going to be one more uh, trapdoor. So we'll place down an end, an end rod right in front of it. And then we're going to need dragon heads and invisible item frames. So we're going to place down an item, invisible item frame right off of this trap right here. Place down a dragon head and flip it sort of upside down for the ammo box right there. And for the back of the gun, for the stock, rather, we're going to have a dragon head. Actually, I don't think it actually has a stock, it's more of a fixed and has sort of a handle thing, but I guess for the back of the gun in general, we're just going to have a dragon head. Uh, flip normally like that, so just ignore whatever I just did. And we're going to have in wall true to set it downwards. As this doesn't have the uh, higher m higher up mount the uh, later Sherman variants will have, and we'll get to those variants in some other video. But until then, we have completed our M4 Sherman. I believe this is the late production model, but Sherman's being as complicated as they are. Uh, I, I don't know. You can check the PMC post and whatever picture I posted. It's just the M4 M4 from War Thunder that just says M4. So simple as that. It's the simplest Sherman, so that's our best one to start with. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and see you in the next Sherman video.